in uh, 1957, the head of the physics department at Imperial College, Lord Patrick Blackett, on the advice of Hans Bethe, persuaded Abdus Salam to leave Cambridge and move to Imperial College. And Salam remained as professor there until his death in 1996. His death was a great loss, not only to his family and the scientific community, it was a loss to all mankind. For he was not only one of the finest physicists of the 20th century, having unified two of the four fundamental forces of nature, but he dedicated his life to the betterment of science and education in the developing world. And in 1964, he founded the International Center dedicated to that goal and which now bears his name. So when the opportunity arose to celebrate his 90th birthday, I jumped at the opportunity to cooperate with my colleagues K.K. Fuhr and Lars Brink, and I'm particularly grateful to K.K. for providing this wonderful venue to celebrate Salam's legacy. And this week, those of us who knew Salam at Imperial will be reminiscing and remembering his legacy there. I mentioned Hans Bethe, and I think it was Hans Bethe who said, there are two kinds of genius. The first kind, and I think someone like Steve Weinberg fits the category, produce results of such devastating logic and clarity, they leave you thinking, well, I could have done that too, if only I was smart enough. The second kind are the magicians whose sources of inspiration are altogether more enigmatic. And I think Salam belonged to that magic circle. There was always an element of Eastern mysticism about his ideas that left you wondering how to fathom his genius. Thank you very much. <laughs>